Hi there, Rob Arnfield speaking to you. This will be a short screencast on how to access and use basic functions of QPath. QPath is the ultrasound management system we have in place at LHSC for point of care ultrasound images obtained either in the emergency department or the ICU. If you don't know how to archive your ultrasound images, I encourage you to see the previous screencasts on how to do this on the various machines we have at our hospitals. Now to access QPath, you may do so in a couple different ways from within the hospital, the easiest of which will be accessing it directly through the icons on several computers found in both the ICUs and the emergency departments. However, you may access it from any hospital computer using Internet Explorer. Chrome or Firefox will not work. So let's open up Internet Explorer here, and you're going to type start slash QPath. That will then bring a link to QPath which will launch it in a new Internet Explorer window, which takes a couple moments. Once the QPath login screen is in front of you, you log in using your Cerner login name and a password that has been assigned to you once you've had an account created. If you've not had an account created, contact me or another ultrasound administrator. Now, when you first log into QPath, you'll be greeted with a spreadsheet-like display of a number of ultrasound studies. What you see will depend on your user group you belong to. If you're a resident, you'll see your own studies. An attending will see their own studies, as well as those of the residents that work with them and their colleagues. Administrators will see everybody's studies across multiple departments. There are a number of headings that you can pay attention to all of which are customizable and searchable. For instance, the date range may be changed. You may search specifically for patient PIN numbers, patient names, and all other fields may be customized. Some of the details regarding some of these fields will be reviewed in subsequent screencasts that go into some of the more organizational or administrative aspects of the system. For the time being, however, we'd like to show you how to view your images once you've obtained them. This may come in handy if doing some teaching, having questions for your attending, or wishing to show them to a consultant service. In order to access the images associated with any given study, find the study you're most interested in, highlight it, and click on the Images field. This will bring up a pane of thumbnails where you may select and scroll between a number of different studies. To go back to the list, click list. The other way to access the images associated with the study is to click on the date. This will open it in a slightly different appearance that will also include opportunities to complete a report of your findings, as well as for administrators to complete quality assurance. In this mode, you'll see the thumbnails are positioned below. One last pointer when using QPath is the use of F11 will optimize your on-screen real estate, as can be seen here by getting rid of the Internet Explorer menu bar. This concludes this very introductory screencast identifying how to access, log in, and view images on QPath. These are the most basic functions that QPath has to offer. I encourage you to watch the other screencasts in this series to develop a more sophisticated skill set with this software. Thanks and bye for now.